There are two types of sound that you could include in a presentation, either a song to play throughout the whole presentation or a sound effect to play maybe during and part of a, an, an animation. To insert a song into the presentation, we first of all need to make sure that the home tab is selected and then we can choose the media button. Here you can either uh, add something from the browser, which is something either from GarageBand or from iTunes, or you can select audio from file, which will allow you to insert maybe an MP3 that you've got saved on your desktop. As you can see, I've got a song in my iTunes library, so I'm going to select that for now. And as soon as you insert it, you'll see that you get a speaker icon. Now, at, at the minute, when you start your presentation, the sound will only play when you click on the speaker. By making sure that the format audio option is selected, you can change that. And we can change the start so that it changes, um, so that it plays automatically. Um, or it plays when you click it. Alternatively, you can also say play across slides. You can also change the playback options and select something like loop until stopped so that if the sound is shorter than the presentation, it will carry on. Now, to play the song over more than one slide, um, you need to change the animations option. Uh, as soon as you insert uh, the sound automatically, it becomes part of uh, the animation list and you can see here that it starts at the same time as the motion path that I put in for downloadable tunes. To change that, I'm going to click on the reorder option and I'm going to click on the, uh, the sound, the name of the song. And you can see that you can change the order by uh, using the arrows. Alternatively, you can change the timing so that it starts with the previous animation um, and you can change the media options which allows you to play it for a number of slides as I've only got four slides I only need to increase that number to four and as soon as you preview it you should find now that it plays automatically at the start of the slide and it plays over more than one slide